Fearless Fam. Welcome to another episode where we shed light on topics most like to keep in the dark. This is your host, Chuby, and today's elephant is a level two elephant. Hope you're all doing well and are safe. I am so excited to share this with you, even though this is our last episode before the 40th episode, a total of 140 episodes. We make three years in May 25th that is a Wednesday and we will be doing a live session to celebrate our three years and you are all invited it will be live on Facebook at 8 p.m. and I hope you all could come join us if you want to be part of the live please DM me so I can send you the link and if you want to just watch watch us on Facebook and like I said at 8 p.m can't wait to celebrate with you all it's been long three years and well deserved so this episode will be about what have i learned throughout the three years of doing no filters no fears the growth the pains the highs and the lows and everything else in between it all started with the idea of wanting to share my thoughts on certain topics and just speak on situations that were currently happening. And around 2014, I thought of wanting to create a podcast, but honestly, I didn't dedicate the time for it. I didn't sit there and actually thought of what I wanted it to be. I didn't plan it. In retrospect, I feel like it was not the time then. Then years later, at the end of 2019, I started planning the podcast before the pandemic happened, of course. The first of the first couple of months, I wrote down ideas, the thoughts, and what I actually wanted to accomplish with the podcast. Then around February, I reached out to Vanessa. For most of you who haven't seen the origins of the inception of the podcast, I asked her if she wanted to be the co-host of the podcast. She and I have similarities and we're both outspoken people. And by that time, I've I've known her for like five years already or so. And we got along great. So I reached out to her and we came up with a name and a plan. We were going to take our time to do the podcast, right? And then all of a sudden, a pandemic happened. So we couldn't really see each other. So we thought, might as well speed it up and just start because we obviously didn't know when this pandemic was going to end. Clearly it still hasn't. To me, I believe it was prematurely done. Neither one of us had experience with podcasting or just recording or editing really. My photography background did not come into play, obviously. I really never edited a video to this magnitude and this quality of production. So I was kind of lost. But with learning, researching, and all the things I needed to learn, I was able to eventually edit our videos to what they are today. And I believe I did a great job. I mean, what do you guys think? Obviously, with what I could and the knowledge that I could. I did reach out to my brother. He's a video production. You know, he has his own company. He does all all of that in. So I reached out to him sometimes, and he did give me pointers. And, you know, I was able to get no fear to some fears to be better quality high quality and just find out easier ways for me to handle technology as you all know i am not great at it so his help was was truly obviously helpful and his knowledge and all of that so i'm very grateful for that and I look back at three years later and I am satisfied and proud of the work that I have done with No Filters, No Fears and all the people I have met and are connected with. It has been a roller coaster of emotions with all the political things happening with everyone's life at stake. It's been a scary three years and that is an understatement. Through the lens of No Filters, No Fears, I was able to generate information to share with everyone um, with facts, links, and interact with many people who supported the podcast. With people who had far more knowledge on the subject, and along the way, I gained more knowledge because of them. Mind you, as exciting as it was, it was a lot of hard work. Mental breaks, especially for a person like me who feels everything so deeply, I would usually find myself crying because of all the violence that was happening simultaneously. And I didn't know where to direct my attention to because I feel like everything needed attention. 
that's when I realized I should address topics that are not being covered by the media already. I felt like it would just saturate it more. And bringing these certain topics to light and actually talking about them when the media was not, I believe was a productive and um, important thing to do. But I'll just say that it was a scary moment in time to have this podcast in the middle of 2020 while everyone was also creating podcasts and the world was literally falling apart. We only had each other. We all had the creatives to entertain us, to keep us safe and mostly sane. And a lot of other topics arise while being in quarantine, like obviously spouse abuse while someone was in their homes and they couldn't get away from that. That was a topic that was brought up a lot, that most of us had the privilege to be home and we didn't really get affected by the pandemic. Nobody died around us and some were going through the worst. And that's where the artists came and they saved us. Music, poetry, um, productions, just all entertainment aspects of it. And for I will forever be grateful for that. But despite of all that was going on, I stayed focused on what I wanted the goal to be, which was to spread awareness on certain issues that were currently happening. Trying to bring in weekly episodes was a full-time job because it was doing research, learning about something we probably never heard of before and making sure we fact-checked and making sure the information was to date. It took about five days and we would tune in every Monday. It was not easy to make sure everything ran smoothly. Ironically, we were having technical issues most of the time. Yet we did our best to bring all the information to the episode. And and I believe that was important that we brought the topics to the table. I learned a lot about doing this podcast alone for the last year and a half. Honestly, I learned about people's integrity, morals, and just overall loyalty. The decision to do the podcast alone was a mutual decision between the both of us, Vanessa and I. And we have addressed this multiple times. And often I get asked, would you get another co-host and I always say of course working together with someone else to have different ideas and coming up with different um, topics is fun different perspective is always fun I love working with people that are with that are willing to work together for the same goal and of course I have asked several people but they weren't able to do so and they were and they were honest with themselves and I like that They didn't commit to something they knew they couldn't. Again, the ideas will sound amazing, but are you able to actually do said thing? And you have to be honest with yourself so you don't waste anyone's time. So of course I am not mad at anyone or resentful towards the people that said no. They were honest. I still continue to do the podcast because it is something that I am passionate about. There is so many things that needed to be talked about, especially the hard topics that people will for sure not want to tune in for. And I knew that, trust me, I knew that most of the episodes will have low ratings and all honesty, like I have said previously on my episodes, it wasn't about how many people watched it. I mean, if the information got spread quicker, that would have been awesome. But nonetheless, I still filmed the episodes because it made me feel that I was doing something important. And if you are watching this episode right now, how did my episodes make you feel? What did you learn? What did you want to share with your experience with interacting with No Filters, No Fears? With my episodes, I was trying to break the stigmas, like the period poverty video or the STDs one. I was trying to make people realize that these are normal things to talk about and that shouldn't be shied away from it, like talking about sex. This is why these topics were important to me. I love the people that came onto episodes to share their expertise, the people that came on and had their own perspective, obviously their own knowledge. And I love that they shared all that with me. I am so proud of what I started. With all the help of you all, watching all the people that joined the episodes, and of course, with the help of Vanessa at the beginning of the podcast. 
I just want to say that never give up on something you want to do. If you do it and it fails, just remember it wasn't a waste of time. It was a learning experience. And maybe it was not meant to be at that time. And you are able to try again. I can't tell you how many times I tried to find a studio and failed. But what mattered is that, is that I didn't give up and you shouldn't either. It's better to try and have the regret in your mind that you should have done it. The people that are meant to be in your life and that will be there to support you will be there with no hesitation, with no excuses, and they will make it their business to make sure you know you're loved, supported, and cared for. You will never have to guess if they're there for you or not. You will automatically know. And that is the most beautiful thing about your friends, your family, and working with someone. And that's the most important thing that I have taken away from uh, creating with someone else. You both have to be in the same wavelength and the same goal. And that's how something will prosper in all honesty. And if you see that it's not going that way, then you need to come to terms with the fact that it's just not going to work. But before we close this episode, I truly and honestly want to say thank you to everyone who was part of No Filters, No Fears, to all of you Fearless fans for always tuning in and for sharing your comments with me and your ideas, your thoughts, and for engaging with me. It truly means the world to me. I have come this far because of the support of you all. And I mean this because honestly, I could have given up a long time ago. But here we are, episode 39, total of 139 episodes. And now to celebrate 140th, three years, season 12. Nothing compares to the feeling I have that I have made it this far. I hope we left a little part of me in all of you. Hope No Filters, No Fears gave you the courage to stand up for what you believe in, to help those that need help if you are able to speak your truth and live honestly and to your own drumbeat and to always go for your goals, for your dreams and not to do something because someone else is doing it. If it doesn't come naturally to you with passion, then don't. And if you are this far into this episode, thank you. And before I leave, I want to leave you with some quotes. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Winston Churchill's. Note to self. You can't control how other people receive your energy. Anything you do or say gets filtered through their lens of whatever personal shit they're going through at the moment, which is not about you. Just keep doing your thing with as much integrity and love as possible. Unknown. Failure is not the opposite of success. It is part of success. Unknown. And my last quote. When you have a dream, you've got to grab it and never let go. Carol Burnett. Thank you all for watching and thank you for being part of the Fearless Fam. Live fiercelessly, loudly, and boldly. See you on episode 140. And like I always say, stay fearless, everyone.